Welcome. I am Nicole Everett, the host of Conversations with Nicole, and it is Wednesday, August 12, 2020, and it's what I call What Women Want Wednesday. What Women Want Wednesday, and this is a interactive live broadcast, an opportunity for me to talk with you and my guests about various sundry topics. But before I get involved in introducing my guests briefly and talking about our topics, I want to hear from you. Again, this is an interactive live. This is an opportunity for us to hear from the women, the sisters, the ladies, but the men can chime in as well. So let me know where you are tuning in from. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Put your city and state in the comments. So I can give you a shout out. Again, this is an interactive live. So I do hope to engage with you in the way that we do that is by you commenting. So let me know where you're coming from, where you're watching from rather, so that we can give you greetings and acknowledge you tonight. All right. Happy Wednesday. What women want Wednesday. So while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and briefly introduce my guest, but I'm going to have her do a full introduction of herself. Um, we have the sister girl, the queen sister girl herself, Dr. Pastor Judy Mandrell from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, but she's been in Tallahassee so long because she is a rattler. Uh, but she is joining us today. Uh, I've known Judy for uh, a few years, and I'm so delighted to have her with me today. Well, we are going to talk about sisterhood. We're going to talk about trust, and we're going to tackle negativity, negativity. So we got an action-packed conversation for you tonight. I see a few people chiming in, so let me give greetings to, to Rania. Tara, hey, watching from Tallahassee. So Tara's one of my people that normally is asleep around this time, but she stayed up tonight. So I really appreciate that. We got Ozzy, Ozzy from Virginia Beach. Happy hump day. I'm just here with my popcorn. Appreciate you, Ozzy. Ozzy is a faithful viewer as well. So without further ado, help me welcome Dr. Pastor Queen Sister Girl Judy Mandrell. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Nicole. It's so good to be on your show. It's so good pleasure. to be on a conversation with Nicole. That's right. This is the Real Talk with Judy Conversations with Nicole uh, mix right here. We, we got it going on. Two Two talk show divas in Tallahassee having yeah. a conversation with each other, right? Isn't that awesome? It is. It is. So I already kind of, you know, let the cat out the bag, but you could tell them yourself where you're from, who you're representing, what you do, who you are. Let them know. I am Judy Mandrell. I am originally from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Yes, the big L. I love for a lot of it. I've been in Tallahassee since 1977, saved six months. We, I think I, I left for six months, and I've been here ever since. I've been in Tallahassee most of my life. I am married to Gerald Mandrell, the senior mm -hmm. pastor of Life Changers. Uh, we've been married 39 years. Come October 17th, we've been married 39 years. Uh, we had a daughter. She didn't live. She She passed. But uh, thank God for that experience. And uh, so now I'm a graduate of FAMU, uh, the University of Florida, the world. Uh, some big things happening from FAMU. Yes, uh, it is. I, yes. I, hello, Terrell. Yes, so I worked, for, um, I worked for the Department of Children and Families for almost 20 years in um, foster care and protective services. Hmm. I have a daycare. I have a after school, have a summer camp, uh, leadership program, 
but um, just started a program last year called Family Affairs, okay. and that's to work with the family. Uh, the theme of that is home sweet home, making home sweet again. Oh, uh, so, like yeah. Okay. Home sweet home, making home again. And okay. um, also uh, the Sister Girls Network, and we'll get into that. But the Sister Girls Network and um, uh, so doing a lot for our community to bring unity and peace by uh, with the families, girls and children. Absolutely love what I do. OK, now um, you and Pastor Gerald have a church, correct? Yeah, Life Changes. I co past my husband, Life Changes Church of God in Christ here. Right. I know. <laughs> How did I miss that? Here in Tallahassee, Florida, we have been pastoring for 25 years. 25 wow. years with in our 26th year. And so we we are excited about it. We love it. We um so many people have come through um life changes and they are doing some great things. They have moved away. We have several who have started their own churches. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are excited about that. We are a learning institute. Okay. And that's one of the things we, we do a lot of teaching. Pastor Mandrell um, is one of the greatest teachers ever. He walked that Bible. I told him you could preach a period. And uh, <laughs> he could take a period and preach it. Oh, so we, we spent a lot of time on teaching and training and leadership. So, okay. yes. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's what that's what we do. Cool, cool, cool. Now, Pastor Judy, yes, ma'am. You're, you're from South Florida, just like me. You came here, attended FAMU, and I, from what I understand, now I've had some talks with you, and you used to uh, be a, a musician, correct? I played the drums. Oh, I played cool. the drums from age twelve until about thirty something. Wow. Um, I played a little bit for Family Gospel Choir. Okay. I played. I played for John P. Key, the Clock Sisters, um, Shirley Caesar, um, some 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 big folks like that. Because um, and I'm tell you how I started playing. I was in church, right? Uh -huh. And we didn't have a drummer, so I started playing. This is gonna be an interesting story. I okay. started playing the drum. I wanted to play the drum, rather. And so I told my mom and my dad I wanted a drum set for Christmas. Uh -huh. but they they brought me this little paper drum set, what? right? Yeah, but I had this vision of them buying me this big, beautiful, real drum set. So uh -huh. Chris, I went to sleep early Christmas Eve. I was a good kid, so I could get that drum set, right? <laughs> Nicole, I woke up Christmas morning. Uh huh. I saw that paper drum drum set in there. My dad and mom were so happy that they bought it. I cried. I said, this is this is not the drum set. My mom said, you want a real drum set? I said, yes. Uh, and I cried. I, I hit that thing like two times and it tore. I, oh I, I, I was devastated. But for my birthday, they bought me a real drum set. My birthday was in February. Right. I couldn't play the drums at all. Wow. I never had lessons or anything. Okay. But I saw myself playing. And I used to take the little drum set to church and the pastor, they wouldn't let me play it because they said I sounded a mess. That's what they said. Well, my daddy, one of uh, the Christian, uh, he drove me to church every Sunday so I could play my drum set. Are you serious? Yep. And my daddy didn't play. Right. And so one night we was in revival and the, um, I'll never forget it. Pastor Miller called me up there. I guess he got tired of me playing too. <laughs> and, uh, he anointed my hands and he anointed my ears. Hmm. I, this is the truth. I sat back on the drum and started playing. Wow. And I have been, I've been playing ever since. And people say that I was one of the baddest drummers ever, but I practice all the time. I and what that taught me one. was, it really? doesn't matter what anybody say, believe in what you see in yourself. Cause I saw me as a drummer. Wow. And my dad and mom didn't see it, but my dad said he believed, he believed. in what and what I saw. Wow! And he wasn't going to allow anybody to kill that dream until I didn't want to do it again. That but I played those drums and um, made me a lot of money as a kid, and when I came to college, everything. That so it's some story. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Okay. I knew there was a story there. 
But really what my question was leading up to is how you came to become a pastor. That's the part. That's the story I want to hear. Well, um, I met my husband. I met at Watson Temple. Okay. And um, the Lord called him the pastor. We was married. So it came along with the package deal. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So the Lord called him. They, the Lord called him the pastor. I was his wife. And uh-huh. so there we are. Uh-huh. And he not being brought up in the tradition of Kojic church uh-huh. had no problem. He started calling me co-pastor. And so that's how I got the title because he we're pastoring together. Okay. He he is so good on supporting women uh-huh. uh, in anything, in, in ministry and everything. And he saw the gift in me to help with pastoring until that's how I got in that position okay. with him. And uh, we do it together. All right. Matter okay. of fact, we, yeah, we do almost everything together. They say they see me. They know my husband ain't for, ain't for behind. That's what wow. they say. Okay. Well, speaking of supporting women, we want to talk about sisterhood tonight. Sisterhood, sisterhood. What does sisterhood mean to you? Well, sisterhood mean to me that they're, they're, is a group of women. Um, I have four other sisters. There's five girls and one boy in my family. Mm-hmm. And growing up, my dad and mom taught us we were each other's best friend. Mm. We were each other's greatest supporter. Mm-hmm. We were the ones who helped each other stand. Mm-hmm. If one was in a fight, we all fought. If one made it, we celebrated. If one fell, there's four of us left to help that other one up. Okay. And that's what I bring, see in sisterhood. We're in this together. And so like I was raised, if one of my sisters hurt, my job is to make sure that hurt is healed. If one, they fall down, my job is to get all the other sisters to help us get up. All right. right? So and if one is, one is celebrating, mm-hmm. but that's, that's my sister right there. That's my okay. older sister. Hey, sister. My Robin. older sister. All right. And if, and if one if, if one is being celebrated, we all celebrate with them. Okay, nice. And if, if one is dancing, we're all dancing, all right. right? Okay. And if one fail, we help them find a way to succeed. Yeah. To me, that's sisterhood. Yes, yes. And to me, Nicole, that's what life is all about with us women. We're mm-hmm. sisters. Yes, yes. All right, so one of our sisters chimed in with a comment. Then I thought, <laughs> I want to see this too. So that's why I'm putting up here. Miss uh, Gwen Marshall said, we don't believe you that you can play. Play some beats so we can hear for ourselves. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. What you want me to play? No, no, no. <laughs> I get it for you. Wait till, wait till this. Wait wait till this. Uh, what do you think? Pandemic over, Gwen. I'm going to show you. <laughs> so, Gwen, I appreciate you being on. Gwen is our Leon County clerk, of course. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> we got we got a whole host of sisters on here tonight. Yeah, uh, Gian Jones, Felicia Dilbert, uh, Sean Gore is love you. Love y'all so much for being on here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I love that about sisterhood. You know, definitely supporting each other, coming to each other's rescue. Yes. Um, and just being there for one another. Right. Yes. Yeah. And I think that's what we're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Nicole, uh, one of my thing is I am, and that's my nephew on right there. Um, my, um, uh, see there, he said she can play, she can play, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> and I didn't even pay him to say that. That's for real. <laughs> hey, LaShawn, hey, LaShawn, I can play, I can play. But one of the, one of the, one of the, we love you, Daryl. Yeah. But one of the one of the things, Nicole, that I live, I am my sister. Mm. That's 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 something that I believe. I mm. am my sister. Okay. When I see a sister who have fallen, I am her. Mm. I did fall, and I have to help her up. Mm-hmm. You know, I see a sister who's hurting. That's me. Mm-hmm. A sister who's make make it like I'm celebrating you right now. Yes. That's me. Yes, you yes. Know, that's 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 me. Yeah. I'm, I'm sitting um, uh, a sister who who Kamala Harris mm-hmm. 
our next vice president of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. That's me. Yes. That's yes. you. That's yes. all these sisters on here. Yes. And that's, how, that's how I live my life. I am my sister. Mm -hmm. I was interviewed today and they said, what, what keep me going? What make me, you know, they say they see me here and they see me here. You know what do it? My sisters. Mm -hmm. My sisters. Because they're going to have one bunch of teeth showing. Mm -hmm. they, they're going to have one person in the audience showing all of, I don't remember how many I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go count them after this show. <laughs> I, how many are you supposed to have? 32? Yes. Okay, I got 31. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my mom knocked that one. Oh, boy. I, that's a, you know what? We're going to have to say that story for another time. <laughs> Not that. But 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 I believe that we make it. Uh, we, we make it, Nicole. We, we, mm -hmm. we have to do that. We have to do that. And, and they should, all of us should be able to look in the audience, mm -hmm. no matter what we're going on, and see our sisters in the audience clapping for us. Yes, 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 yes. So with that being said, in terms of you being your sister, tell me, or let's talk about why you started the Sister Girl Network. I started the Sister Girl Network simply because I saw so many different groups. Mm -hmm. So many different people were inspiring women in this group, inspiring women in that group. But I also saw that some women wasn't bene benefiting from some of the groups. They were in their own group, which is nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. you know, they were in their own group. They were comfortable there. But right. what came in, what would it look like if all these different powerful organizations and powerful groups come together and get to know one another mm -hmm. and we start visiting each other group. Mm -hmm. what, what would it look like if all of us was in a room with all of our different experiences, our different knowledges, our different background, mm -hmm. what our different perspective? What if all of us was in a room together, mm -hmm. learning each other, becoming friends? Right. What a different and what a dent it would put in um, and we, I know we're going to get to the, the negativity mm. and the the competition of pulling each other down. We're going to compete and it's OK, mm -hmm. but it is not OK to compete in a manner that I have to destroy Nicole in order to build Judy up. Yes. And so I saw us. I saw women, black mm -hmm. women, white women, Jew, Gentile, mm -hmm. straight women, gay women. Mm -hmm. Happy women, sad women, the homeless yeah. people. And you saw the homeless shelter women came and oh. went and turned the party out. Yeah. You know, and but that was it, Nicole. And that's mm -hmm. what I see. I still see it. I see thousands of us coming. We have a database right now, I think over over 800 women who have participated. Wow. In in this. We have people from the political field. We have uh, people from the chambers. We have housewives. We have everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, the other night on, 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 uh, um, on the zoom call lady from Atlanta, who is the fifth head person in charge, mm -hmm. the fifth head person in charge of the Porsche dealership said, send her, um, um, her sister girl shirt. Cause she's joining the network. She All wanted, right. I had to explain to her what it was. She loved it. Mm. You know, my sister in Scotland. Got starting one over there. Okay. You know, have another friend in Paris. They they just want to make this thing because that's what it is. We mm -hmm. build each other, and that's why I started it. So we all could come together. Yeah. And um, some people would have never known of some people. Uh, one lady said she used to have something, Sister Nicole, and she said she had like ten people attending. Mm -hmm. After the Sister Girl, she had that event. She had a hundred women in attendance. That's tremendous. A hundred women. Well, I have told you that it's a movement. You did. So, you know, with that movement, it goes beyond Tallahassee, beyond Leon County, beyond North Florida, beyond the state of Florida, beyond the United States. It's global. Right? You that's, did. That's what a movement is all about. So, and I want to say this, Nicole, you have sat down with me to help me 
Because, you know, my mind, when my mind think, my mind go like this. Mm-hmm. You remember? And you have sat down with me to help me bring some continuity to, to help this thing come forth. Mm-hmm. Gina, Gina, uh, I never can get her name right, but Gina, Gina, uh-huh, <laughs> Gina and Barbara a Westcott, Danette, Carolyn, all these people have sat down mm-hmm. and and just poured so we can build this. Absolutely. LaShawn, LaShawn has sat there and, and worked with me and Amber. Oh. You all are sitting there, Diane, Cynthia okay. Barber. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just so many women, not just me. Yeah. You yeah. are Christy and yeah. Talithia. It's mm-hmm. like everybody get it. Well, mm-hmm. not everybody. Some people get it. Mhm mhm absolutely absolutely so we got a question on the floor uh mama <laughs> Lita wants to know when do you sleep constantly visioning for the community's benefit she want to know when do you sleep uh i think round about i don't know one o'clock or something i turn mm-hmm. everything and i and i'm in my bed and but guess what every morning around about 3 14 mm-hmm. five something the lord is waking me up Mm, okay. giving me things and I yes. sleep with a pen and pencil Yes, yes on the yes. Side, side of my bed my yes. cellar, cross yes. cellar all yes. these folks coming on I have sat with them and said hey this is what I see mm-hmm. what do you, how do we do this okay, alright so what, I mean we've talked about a movement as it relates to sister girls but what other visions do you have for, for the sister girl network um, I'm, I'm, I, I believe um, that, as you stated, that we're, we're going to help women to to uh, dream and to walk in that dream safely mm-hmm. because they know that they have a group of sisters mm-hmm. that even if they fail, we're there to help them straighten that crown. Yeah, we're, 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 we're there to help them walk. Yeah. And so they're not going to be able to walk on the wrong way that they want to walk on, mm-hmm. but they're afraid that they might trump um, stumble over their feet mm-hmm. because they know they got sister girls there. That if they, oh man, I just saw this Nicole. If if they're walking and their shoes slip off, uh-huh. I see a bunch of sister girls getting on the stage with them bare feet, mm. taking our shoes off and, and let them know, hey, this is how we walk now with no shoes on. Yes. So you're and not so I, I see us doing that. We yeah. have women who have written books. So I see the sister girls right here yeah. helping women bring forth their books. Mm-hmm. Helping women love tell it. their stories. Love it. Love it. Love I, it. I see this. I see this so much. Okay. I okay. see it. I okay. see it. All right. And, no. and I see us helping women learn how to. What what do you what you could help me here? Mm-hmm. Um, constructively give input, not not criticize, but to mm-hmm. um, constructively give input. Y'all help me. Y'all, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Giving feedback, giving yeah, feed, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, yeah, without saying, oh, that was so stupid. No, it wasn't stupid because she dared to do it. Right, right. right so right. it don't make it stupid. Yeah, no, I think I think that's great. You know, I, I think. What um, I experienced at the Sister Girl events um, was a safe place where um, Sister Girls could come and be themselves, be uninhibited, and share and listen and love on each other. So I think what you've done thus far has been tremendous. And, you know, I just want to help. Just want to help you grow it, and you know, just do even even greater works, right? <laughs> even greater works. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So yes. Constructive and I and constructive criticism. Yeah, constructive um, feedback. Yeah, constructive feedback. We got Dr. Michelle Mitchum on here. Uh. To set a set a safe place to be vulnerable and receive support, so all of that, all of that is very important, very important. Cause Nicole, you remember the first time um, we did? I think it was the first time we did it. Remember the young lady who started talking about her daughter who was mm-hmm. cutting herself? 
mm-hmm. who was in her room, but she felt so comfortable with almost mm-hmm. 400 women yeah. to expose yeah. herself like that. Mm-hmm. But she yeah. said she felt safe. Yeah. And that's what we that's what we want. That's what that's what we want to create. We, yes. we want to create that atmosphere that Yes, a safe place for them to be. All right. So Gerald said, did I hear greater works? You hear his ears pop perking up right here, right? <laughs> yes, this is Gerald. And I'm, I'm been waiting on you to I, and I wanted you to go into it. I, you know it's right here on my tongue. So I, but I wanted you to do it because I'm so happy. Yes, Gerald. Yes. 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 Yeah. Gerald Come on, is do it cute. on this show. Do it on this show. Do, do it right Breathe. now briefly because this is we talking to judy mandrell tonight but i know but i'm so excited okay okay do this right here (laughs) gerald is my partner my business partner he and he and i have formed a production company and network called greater works network and um, we are on roku tv now um we actually you know this is take took place yesterday and we have our own 24-hour network. Uh, right now, what's up is uh, Conversations with Nicole, season seven and eight. But we are looking for content providers to do short films, documentaries, their own talk shows or other types of shows. So we are super excited um, and you know want to invite those who have ideas about content and things that they want to do to connect with us and, and help tell our stories, help tell our stories. So I would love to see Real Talk with Judy on GWN, but we will oh, listen. Talk, look, we'll, oh, listen. we'll talk about listen. that later. <laughs> but Nicole, listen, I've already yeah. told them before I went to 95.3, I said uh, my next step is TV. Oh, well, there you go. I told, and I was the first person Listen, and I was talking to you when you got that when you got that it had been confirmed. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You were, you were actually. Yes. You were called and Gerald called and was like, "It's yes. on." So, yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. But I had just told him I'm, I'm going to be on ninety five point three. I said, "But hopefully," and this is what the God is my witness, my husband. I yes. said, "By next year, at the beginning of next year, I'm going to be on TV." Yes. Listen, forty million viewers is what what Roku has. So. It's the sky is the limit. Y'all, y'all better come on. And you know what I love about it, Nicole? When you and I was talking earlier and uh-huh. you made this comment, you said there's room for all of us. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, go to Roku. If you got a Roku TV or have access to Roku, go to Roku right now and type in Greater Works Network and you will see us there. Live and in living color. To God be the glory. Uh, listen, <laughs> just all and, I can say. <laughs> and, 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 that's, and that's awesome because, see, right there, here you are in Tallahassee, mm-hmm. Sister Girls Network. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna um, uh, say, hey, look, she's the first on the. But the thing about it, and so here we go now. Somebody somewhere bringing negativity. Mm-hmm. That's what we got to stop. So let's transition into that, right? <laughs> you were talking about straightening up your sister's crown, right? Yes, yes. And sometimes we might not want to straighten up our sister's crown. Not sure why that is. Maybe there's a little jealousy. Maybe there's a little, you know, why can't that be me? She thinks she all that. Yeah. And you know how I'll, we stop that? When uh, we hear it, we stop it. Mm-hmm. And we say something like, well, she is all that. Don't you think so? Mm. That's our Hamlet. Oh, okay. she is all of that. I mean, yeah. you don't think so? Look at this. Look at that. Mm. She is. Somebody, they like to say, um, somebody told me, they said, um, Dr. Judy, somebody told me that you thought you was all of that. I said, okay, I'm going to answer you. I'm going to answer you, then I'm going to ask you a question. I said, they didn't lie. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't lie to you. I do think I'm all of that. All right. The Bible says, don't think of yourself more highly mm. than your own. True. Which means you got to think of yourself. True. He just said, don't think of yourself more highly mm. than your own. Mm. My next, my question was, 
why they felt comfortable coming to tell you? Right. Aren't right. you? Don't you believe in me? Why they told right. you? Right. So they must do it because they figured you feel the same way. No, I don't feel that way. You must do. Right. You because must you do. Mm-hmm. Because the only thing we got to learn to do, Nicole, is celebrate each other. Yes. Yeah. When you told me you when you told when I found out y'all on Roku, I'm trying to find out how can I get on there? I want to know the prices. When y'all <laughs> start getting them prices. And I'm not going to even say they hook a sister up because it costs. I'm going to say, let me get on your show. Mm-hmm. Put me on your TV. I got to get mm-hmm. on there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you understand what I'm saying? You got to start somewhere. So why not start absolutely. with a sister girl from Tallahassee? Absolutely. Absolutely. We absolutely. I don't have to degrade no. you. I don't but have to make you look bad. You're right. You're right. You're right. We do need to be in support of each other as opposed to tearing yes. one another down. You know, I got a lot coming at us from all different directions right and most yes. of it is negativity um yes you know from the sensationalism of programming uh you know trying to get ratings and people wanting to see drama and that sort of thing i mean i've been told that many times about my show you know it's not you need to do something else like there needs to be this entertainment factor that goes along with it and for me, it's like the conversation is, you know, what captivates, if you will. So yeah. that's what I'm, I, I believe that stories move human beings. That's what compels us and, and drives us. And yes, it, it, there is a, a art and maybe even a science to telling stories, but you can, as a human being, you can feel that, you know, when you talked about wanting to have this drum set and your parents came with these paper drums. I felt that you was you was the spot. <laughs> you was upset. You know, you want to know what was going on. This ain't what you had in mind. This is not what you envisioned. So you know, we get all of that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I think that we have to fight against negativity. You know, it's a it's 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 a daily struggle, a daily struggle to fight against it. And yeah. you know, we women yeah. especially are are vying for you know attention, recognition, acknowledgement, all of that. Um, because, you know, we primarily have lived in a patriot- patriarchal society here in America. Um, right. And especially Black women have had yes. struggle. you know. So, you know, we, we got a lot coming at us, but we've got to do a much better job of, um, you know, building each other up and supporting one another. And that's one of the reasons, uh, one reason I, I really work to, I can't make everything. Mm-hmm. I make a lot of things, but I don't, I can't make everything. Mm-hmm. But sometimes if I can't go, I am really pushing it on Facebook, trying to get it. I'll send emails and texts because we as black women, if we don't su- support us, who will? Who Absolutely. will? If, if we don't encourage each other, who will? Absolutely. And this is one thing I believe with all my heart. Some people work to divide us. Mm-hmm. Some people of other races, they want to see us come at each other. Mm-hmm. So sometimes, sometime, and we have to watch that devil because sometimes they'll come and they'll, they'll say, um, and I'm just using Nicole and I because I'm on her show. Okay. <laughs> you can do that. So, yeah. So some people come and say, with well, Nicole, you should da 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 with Judy. I mean, you know, she, and then they may come back and say, well, Judy, you know, then what happened? You Sorry. may look, I may look at you one way, mm-hmm. one day, and you'll say, I see what they're talking about. But we have to intentionally work to support each other. Mm-hmm. Can't nobody make me doubt that Nicole ever don't love Judy Mandrea. Can't nobody make me doubt that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. If they come, they say, you know, Nicole don't like you. I'm like, that's a lie. And definitely nobody can make me think LaShawn Wiley Gordon don't like me. That girl has made sacrifices just helping me with stuff. And so we got to intentionally not allow um, the vision, people to bring us against each other. Mm-hmm. You, 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 we, got, we got to intentionally do that, Nicole. We do. We do. So you know I'm a gardener, right? I'm a gardener. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'm a gardener. (laughs) And so as a gardener, I learned so much about life and, you know, from a biblical perspective as well, um, Mm -hmm. the importance of planting and watering, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One plant, one waters, but God gives the increase. And I believe as human beings, I believe as sisters, we need mm-hmm. to be planting and watering, but we need to be planting oh, good seeds, not negative seeds, not right. seeds of discord, not seeds of jealousy and hate and strife and struggle. You know, we need to be planting seeds of goodness and kindness and humility and meekness and joy and peace and love and kindness, right? And watering those seeds because mm-hmm. that harvest is going to be magnificent. Ooh. Ooh. Man, well, we all just shine forth. And that is, that is beautiful. And that's, and, and, and I love to see it. I, yeah. I'd love to see it. When yeah. we're together and we are, and do you know we can disagree and still be okay? Mm-hmm. We, we, can. we can, we and we can not like the same thing and still be okay. Yeah. It is okay with my yeah. five sisters. All five of us are are. That's right, now We cannot allow division. All yeah. five of us are different. All five of us. Yes. And my mom told my mom and dad told us all five of us mm-hmm. were their favorite child. So when we got in an argument one time, talking about who the favorite, but they didn't told us all of us was favorite. Uh huh. You know, and so and, and so that's what we have to do with each other. We we got to we we have to cause each other to genuinely feel mm-hmm. beyond a shadow of a doubt. Yes. That I am watering you. Yeah. I, I am causing you to grow. Yes. I am watering. Yes. I am watering. Mm-hmm. And that's what we have to we have to learn to do. That that's what I believe. We we have to learn to water each other. Yeah. You know, we can we can always find beauty. In, in somebody. Some of us like to wear heels. Some of us don't. My yeah. thing is wear what you wear and wear it with pride. Yeah. You yeah. know, and then we celebrate our sister. I believe if enough sister had enough sister celebrating them, mm-hmm. they'll do better. Amen. Amen. They'll feel Amen. stronger. So let me tell you, and, and I'm going to just, this is just the co-sign on what you said, you're saying. Um, uh, O'Neill Brown and Vaughn Wilson started something called the 45 mile challenge in May. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this is a walking, running challenge um, where you walk or run 45 miles within the month of May. And this was during the pandemic. And they started a Facebook group that goes along with this challenge, but it's hooked mm-hmm. up to the Nike app and you track your miles there, what have you. So, you know, I'm not athletic. I, I've never really been like a, you know, a athletic type person. I, you know, even though I was small in stature in PE, I always came in last with the fat kids. <laughs> I just that just wasn't my thing. Okay, just wasn't my thing. Um, so the thought of doing 45 miles in a month was overwhelming to me, but I'm like, okay, I could do it. They said, you know, you walk one mile a day, day one through 15 and two miles a day, the you know, 16 through, through 30. And I was like, okay, I think I can manage that. Yeah. Judy, this group, this Facebook group <laughs> was so <laughs> encouraging. When I tell you this group was like, it's like the most encouraging thing I have ever really been a part of. Mm -hmm. I mean, they make you feel like you can leap off buildings in a single bound. You hear what I'm saying? That's how encouraging this group is. Uh When I tell you at the end of May, I had walked 80 miles. Oh, oh. Didn't even realize it. (laughs) I walked 80 miles. Wow. Right. All wow. of this encouragement of this group, and it it encouraged myself. You know, it encouraged me to encourage myself because they <laughs> were so encouraging, telling me, "Way to go! You know, <laughs> you can do it. Keep up the good work." And you know, so I'm just here to to serve as a witness to what you said about how we, you know, <laughs> had that type of encouragement 
with everything that we did, how yes. great and awesome would we be? Oh man, we would be one powerful group of women. One yes. of the things I've learned too, Nicola, that confidence does not come from within. Mm. You know, and I, I've just learned, I just read this in a book I was studying, but confidence doesn't come from within. Mm -hmm. Confidence comes from the people surrounding you. Yes. And so when you have people, for instance, as a child, when you're learning to walk, yeah, that child doesn't have the confidence that mm -hmm. they can walk. Yes. But yes. it's the people who cheer them on. Mm -hmm. And they fall down. They say, get up. You can do it. Yes. And you, you pick, pick them back up again. You can do it. Mm -hmm. And what began to happen is that child began to walk. Yeah. That's what happened with the group. You have people cheering, saying, you you can do it. You can make yeah. it happen. Yeah. And the confident had you going that, hey, mm -hmm. I can do this. Yeah. And you were so confident you did 80. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened when people are building the confident. When people build that around you, confident come on the inside. Yes, it does. And guess what? There's nothing, mm -hmm. nothing we can't do. Mm -hmm. When we are built up by others. Absolutely. So Dr. Bell said, great analogy. We must all empower, encourage, love, and celebrate each other. Dr. Judy is speaking to having the philosophy of abundance. No need to compete with anyone. No one can block your blessings. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love that's it. What, love it. Yes. And, see, and, we, and we speak that to each other, Sister Nicole. Uh -huh. It's like it can, it can happen. Mm -hmm. It can happen. Yes, it can. It absolutely it, can. And it will happen. Mm -hmm. It will happen. We have to tell each other that. It okay. one of my favorite stories, and I, I keep this, it's it's in my Bibles. I have it written in my Bible. Mm -hmm. I have it at the beginning of some books. It's the, the little engine that could. Mm -hmm. That's yep. one of my favorite inspirational stories. Okay. Ever. Yeah, the little engine that could. That's a good Because the, everybody else was too tight. Those other big engine was too tired mm -hmm. to take those toys to the children who needed it. Mm -hmm. But the little engine, who didn't know that it had enough strength mm -hmm. or enough power yeah. to pull all that weight, yeah. said, "I'll do it." Yes. And when it got heavy, going, "You can do it," he said, "I think I can." I think, I think I can. I can. Yeah. When he got ready to come up that hill, he like, I think I can. Well, okay. the other engine needed him to do it. Yeah. And they were like, you can do this. Mm -hmm. He didn't know he had the power in him. Yeah. And I'm going to say she. 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 I think but she can. She, but I think I can. I think, okay. And as that little, and can mean I have the ability. Yeah. So I think I have the ability to do this. Absolutely. And guess what? First it was, I think I can. I think uh, then it was, I, I know, know I can. I, can. I know I can. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's what, and that's what this is all about, Nicole. Yeah. Our sisters helping each other Absolutely. make it over the hump, Absolutely. helping each other celebrate, mm -hmm. helping each other do this thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have to reinvent the wheel. I got sisters who's already done it. Show me how to do this thing. Absolutely. So Tara said, I can agree with that. I had a season in my life where I was depressed and anxious and the people God had around me helped me to actually like myself as Ooh, I am. Yes. That's powerful. That's awesome. That's, that's awesome. powerful. That's what it's all about. That's and all of us, all of us have a role to play. Every yes. last one of us. We have and some of us are more on the out. Uh, some of us are more up front. Mm -hmm. Some of us are in the back. Some of us in the middle. But this is what I believe. We all in that one of those places at a time. Yep. Right now, for whatever reason, the Lord allowed me to bring forth the sister girls mm -hmm. to lead it. But it takes all of us to make it happen. Yes. Every last one of us. Every last Every one. last one of us. Mm -hmm. This is a movement and we're going to make it happen. And one of the things I see, I don't know who with it and who's not, but we got to push Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. I believe it is a good time for women mm -hmm. and african-american women but women we we got a strong woman in place mm -hmm. of jamaican descent what is indian 
Indian, mm-hmm. is that right? American mm-hmm. Indian and African. That girl got everything in her. Right. You know, and she's intelligent and she know how to speak and she know how to move things. Yeah. And I believe that the sister girls have to get mm-hmm. it with her. You may not like everything about her. She may have right. done something. And that's another thing, Nicole. We're not going to like everything about all of us. No, we're not. We're not. And we're it's not. okay. It is okay. It is okay. It is okay. Okay, we don't have to fall out about it. It is oh, that's my other sister. Hey, it is okay. Charlie. Oh, my, my sister, my, my sister. I'm telling you, they they say I wear them out. They showing <laughs> up, boy. I love it. Oh, but they don't play. They they they, they come it. with. And then when I hang up, they'll say, "Now go to bed." Now, <laughs> that that sister there call me AD. Oh, AD. Yeah, she called me AD. Okay. Yeah, attention okay. deficit disorder. She's. They said I don't rest. Okay. Uh, he just right. keep my mind going. South Asian, East yeah. Indian, and Jamaican. My lord. Okay, thank you. I knew uh, Dr. Dr. Michelle knew. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie said, "Hey, hi, girl." She said, "Exactly, <laughs> exactly." Telling you to go to bed. She said, "I'm exhausted." <laughs> I'm exhausted. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so um, I see Alonza on here. Hey, Alonza. He said, jointly fitting together, as the Bible says, each part doing his job in harmony. That's yes. exactly what it is. Yes, yes. And yes. he places all of us in, in, in the body as he see fit. Mm-hmm. And there's a scripture in Matthew 25. It says this. He gave one five. Wait, he gave one one, right? One give, another two give, another five. Hmm. As they were able to handle it. Yeah. Everybody can't do five things at one time. Hmm. Everybody can't do two things at one time. Right. Some people can do one and it'll it will be one of the most powerful one thing is just make it happen. Yeah, just make it happen. So let's talk about trust, because I have heard you publicly, even as Sister Girl, I believe, talk about trust and the need for that. I think, you know, that is the foundation of all relationships, your ability to trust someone. And I feel like sometimes trust has been breached or maybe... There's distrust based on some outside information as opposed to um, maybe finding out for yourself. You you are trusting some other somebody else's word about the person or a situation as opposed to, you know, getting the information firsthand from the source. So let's 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 delve into trust and the importance of it. One in relationships, in sisterhood, mm-hmm. and if that trust yeah. is somehow breached or broken, you know, restoring it, restoring it. What <clears throat> one of the things, and, and I wrote this down and say trust, firm belief in the reliability, truth, ability, or strength in someone else. Mm-hmm. It's a strong, firm belief. Okay. And the reliability, the truth, and strength of someone else. Hmm. That means that I have, you have earned a place in my heart or within me mm-hmm. that I have a strong belief in everything you are. That's that is powerful. Okay. And trust is earned. Hmm. It it doesn't it it is it doesn't happen overnight. It, it is earned. Mm-hmm. And when someone trusts you like that, mm-hmm. it's, it, it is worth you guarding the place they have allowed you to come in. Mm-hmm. Because once that trust is broken, mm-hmm. it is hard to get back together. Yeah. I believe what's happening in relationship, that's marriages and all. Mm-hmm. Uh, some marriages, you got the spouses who who have not guarded that place mm. that the spouse have given to them. 
Mm -hmm. They have broken them. And 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 it's got it is hard to trust. So then you have in your sisterhood. Dad, your dad said that uh your, your word, word is, is your bond. bond. So if you're untrustworthy, <clears throat> then it's difficult to work with each other. Do what you say, walk the talk. Yeah. All right. Yeah, 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 and 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 because once that place is broken, mm -hmm. once that place has been damaged, it is hard to get. That's what don't trust, because mm -hmm. the person, and unfortunately, sometimes a trustworthy person has to pay for a dis uh, a distrustful person, a mm -hmm. person who have broken the trust. And so it takes time. This is it. This is what I want to say about rebuilding it. If you want someone in your life and you want them to gain the trust, you got to have the patience to allow it to be built back up again. Okay. So it, you, it, is important when patient, trust is broken. Yeah. Patient is. And sometimes you're not the one who caused it. But if that person is in a place where they have been hurt, they, they have been betrayed. Mm -hmm. and now. You come along and you know that you're a trustworthy person, it takes time. Okay. And you can tell you can tell when a person been hurt by distrust. Mm -hmm. That's why we started the sister girls out the way we did. I didn't want all these speakers and all of this. I want us to relax and have fun and, and eat together and just get to know one another. Why? Because mm -hmm. The, the idea was to get people to build trust. Right. To, to get people to find somebody that they can they can come to. You okay. know, that's why we didn't want people sitting with the same people. Get to know some so you can say, now nah, I got a sister girl that that I can talk to. Mm -hmm. You know, and they, they can say, Miss Agnes, can I talk to you? Right. I'm I'm hurting. Can I can I talk with may I talk? And then Nicole, when they talk to you, let it be to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you come into me with your inner stuff, I right. shouldn't be taking it to Jessica. Jessica, I just saw, I just saw your uh, name. Mm -hmm. and, and, <laughs> and when it, and when it said, and when it says not to trust man, that that mean that what that means is to not to put all of your every hope and desire in man. Man at his best with the best of intention would disappoint you. Mm. But you got to know the difference between intentional breaking trust mm -hmm. and mistakenly messing up. So, and you know, I, I, I think that Jessica's question about the Bible saying not to trust man is really a literal sense. And, you know, it, it's a valid question. But yeah. I think, you know, we as human beings, we have to trust somebody at some point, you know, yeah. what I mean? um, yep. whether that's growing up and that's our family or, you know, some close friend or some acquaintance or, you know, somebody, you know, listen to oh. I have the I have trust in my husband. Mm -hmm. I, I, I believe if my husband right now come and tell me to drink some red punch that I'm going to feel better. Man, uh -huh. I'm going to I'm going to drink. I'm going to drink that put and I'm going to take it all the way down. Mm -hmm. But you know who I have the greatest trust in? The mm -hmm. Lord. Mm -hmm. I trust God more than I trust my husband. Mm -hmm. And I believe that when he said that, that is that ultimate trust. That 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 research, we, we we're, we're praying for people right now who was on ventilator. The Lord got them all. Mm -hmm. There was a certain. um. I believe that God gives doctors and, and the medicine certain things to do. Mm -hmm. But the ultimate healer for me is God. So Natalia had a comment that I thought was interesting. She said, trusting the God in a person is easier than trusting the person. I couldn't make out the last thing. I think she said, no trust from me. Oh, equals no trust from me. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I think that that might be, um, you know, a way to look at it to, to you know, cause it to be uh, maybe easier to do. 
but you you also got to witness the God in that person sometimes too, you know, because some people walk around oh. with pure with pure hell with you know in them. So, honey, ain't nothing but the devil. <laughs> Straight from hell All right. So Alonzo, who is also a, a man of of the cloth of faith, he's also a pastor. He said it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. Um, and he gives the psalm, not that we shouldn't trust mankind or human beings. Our dependency should be totally on God so that he can show us whom to trust, those who have his heart, his spirit. Yeah. I think it's a valid point, too. Yeah. All right. All right. He said it's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. Put your total dependency in God that he may open your heart and mind towards whom to trust. So. So, yeah, I think that, you know, people feel like trust might be risky. You know, they may fear um, being betrayed. They may fear being hurt. They may fear being disappointed. And that may cause them not to want to get involved with people. Yeah, this is this is how and, and sometimes my family thinks that I that I do it too much. It's not that I it's not that I really trust a whole lot of people, but I trust me. Mm. And so what I give to people come from the sincerity of my heart. Mm -hmm. OK. And so because I have been betrayed, because I have been hurt, mm -hmm. because I have been disappointed, mm -hmm. because my expectation was so high in some people. And when it didn't come through. I was let down because of my expectation. They didn't meet that expectation that I had. Mm -hmm. And I expected them to do this or to do that or be this way. Mm -hmm. So the truth of it is because they didn't meet that expectation, I was disappointed. So what I said, oh, they hurt me. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, my expectation is sometimes too high for people. Mm -hmm. But Nicole, I trust me. And so what I give to people is mm -hmm. what I trust. Well, and especially if we don't express those expectations. Oh, that's a whole nother show. <laughs> you got to bring me on greater words for that. One. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You, you know, sometimes we can't express those expectations and still be disappointed because they aren't, they aren't met. But as you said, you trust you and, you know, yeah. you trust God. I think it goes back to Alonzo's point, Alonso. mm -hmm. you know, that, uh, you know, putting your dependency in God and him opening up your heart and mind towards whom you should trust. Or, you know, even if it's, it, it turns out where the trust is breached, if you feel yeah. like this is where he's leading you you know, telling you what to, you know, what to do. And you don't really may not even understand what the purpose is behind whatever that thing is, but he knows, you know, maybe they needed Ooh. to witness somebody trusting them, even though he knew that they were going to break that trust. He knew they weren't going to live up mm -hmm. to the expectation and do what they said they were going to do. They broke their bond, which was supposedly their word. He knew that, but he also knew that you were going to be able to handle that. It right. wasn't going to be more than you could bear. And you right. were still going to maybe love them through that, even though they broke the trust. Yeah. So. And, and being in that place, um, Nicole have taught me mm -hmm. down through the years now how to handle, how to, how to better serve and love people. Mm -hmm. Ursula says something that I say to people is I love you and I trust you, but I love, but I love you more. more. Mm hmm. That's a, that's good. That's powerful. I love that, Ursula. I love mm -hmm. that. Yeah. <clears throat> so that and, and if you break that trust, I still love you. Still love. And that's 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 a powerful place to be. That is a and a lot of things that we're saying now, uh, uh, um, I'm 61 now, mm -hmm. and I've experienced so much, but I've learned down through the years. Some of the things that my mom and dad taught us, I'm I'm I've learned how to live those things. Mm-hmm. I've, I've learned how to live those things. And my job now is to help others come to that place. Mm -hmm. Trust. With, so trust Alonzo said, trust requires giving up the idea of control in any area of our lives. Y'all know y'all want control of everything, don't we? Don't, don't we want control? 
Yes. Look, the ladies, the sisters won't control, don't they? Hello. <laughs> I was talking about this last night on Single in the City. Uh -huh. Bishop Shepherd used to say this, and uh, Bishop Shepherd used to say, um, um, the man is the head, but the women are the neck. Mm -hmm. And a wise woman know how to safely turn the head. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he got to know. He got to know how to do that thing. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes. So he don't get a crick in his neck. Right. No. Don't All right. That's a whole. That's on another that's show. Another, yeah. We are, it's <laughs> not this show. That's your other show. That's your other show. Yeah. But 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 Nicole, we we have one of the most powerful tool God has given to us, and mm -hmm. that's we're women. Yeah. That, that is to me, that is a powerful tool. We're, mm -hmm. we're help me. Mm -hmm. We're birthing canal. Mm -hmm. We're nourishing. Yeah. We, we can take one pie. We could take one pie. Mm -hmm. If they gave us one pie, mm -hmm. we can feed 25 people. Yes. We Women do. know how to do that. We do. And, we do. and, Hey, sister girl, oh. look at her. There she is. <laughs> so, and, and so women know how to do that. And if we can ever get to the place like on here tonight, we're hearing so much um, um, collaboration. Mm -hmm. You can feel the spirit of unity. Yeah, that's all we need. That's that's yeah. all we need. And all of us mm -hmm. think differently. I love people who I love conversation with people. If I see thing one one way, and you can help me see it another, I mm -hmm. I love that. Or you can add, and you can add to. Help build it better. I like mm -hmm. that. I do too. I, I, my my favorite color is black, and I believe because number one it represents strength, mm -hmm. and number two every color, every color got to have black in it. Mm -hmm. Everything, yes, and everything goes. When you put purple with black, that's beautiful. Gold with black, yellow with black, green with black, black and white. I mean. It's just beautiful. And that's how I believe we are. That's how I believe the yeah, sisters are. Great. And we all make up a beautiful pearl. Agreed. We're all royalty. Every last one of us. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's, that's what I believe. Love it. So my cousin, Keita, who's up in, in Maryland area, she said, mine too. So she liked black too. <laughs> See that? See, I, I knew it was something about her. That's a powerful girl. <laughs> That's a powerful girl. <laughs> love it, love it. And, and you know what? Because, and I love to laugh. I, I I love laughing. I love I love comedy. I'm serious, but I just love laughter. Mm -hmm. And people around me, if you're going through anything, somewhere in there, you got to laugh. That's awesome. You know, I don't sweat. I don't sweat things long. Uh, if you and I got a disagreement and we talk about it mm -hmm. and, and we say we good, I figured the next day or the next few minutes, we should be laughing and talking. You shouldn't be mad. And I asked you, why are you mad at me? Right. Oh, you think it's over just like that? Yes. Yeah. After you resolve it, you come to I something. I mean, it's over. over. So let's over. go. You let's, know? let's move forward. My husband and I have been married 39 years. We have yet to have an argument. I know people don't believe that, but we have not argued in 39 Ooh. years. I ain't lying at all. Wow. And I'm going to tell you why. He does not argue. My husband would not argue. And I don't gonna argue by myself. Uh-huh. He have, does not argue. Have you seen him argue with anybody else? No one. Okay. All My right. husband does not argue. Well, that's now, right. if, you, if you mess with me, uh -huh. you mess with me, or you mess with his family, man, he 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 he'll let you he'll, he'll let you know you don't do that. Oh, okay. But he, he does not argue. Yes. And yes. I have yet to that's right, uh, Pastor. I'm in, and I'm telling you, I love laughing. I, yeah. I, my family is crazy. My family laugh all the time. That's great. That's we great. laugh at each other. That's good. You need to be able to laugh at each other. Yeah, because we <laughs> laughing at this Corona weight right now. Listen, so y'all been asking folks, so what you been watching on TV? What you been binge watching? You been watching anything on TV? Uh, uh huh. What's Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith, um, okay. living singer. Living, I'm telling you, Andy Griffith, uh, what's the name? Gomer Powell, 
and uh, all of the all of the earlier blacks, like uh, what is it, Pastor? Um, uh, what in, in living colors? In living okay. colors. In living colors. I love back. in living colors. Okay. Yeah, girl. and and those are things that, and, and then a lot of um, T. J. Joe Osteen, okay. John Hanna, you know, a lot of uh, inspiration. Yeah. But those are the things that Greenleaf. Okay. All right. I know there's some Greenleaf fans Green out Leaf, there. Those uh, are the things I and I. Oh yeah, okay. and I I watch a lot of uh, leadership stuff. I watch gotcha. a lot of lead, um every day. Um, yeah, leadership. I'm always watching leadership stuff. Mm-hmm. Always. Oh my goodness! So Jessica's bringing up a, a story for you to talk about. She said, "Tell me about the time you tried to argue with your husband." I was too tickled when I heard you tell that story. <laughs> Jessica, Jessica, is that the one with the bacon? <laughs> that that I think that was the, only, the one about the bacon. I don't know. Is she gonna? Um, is that the one? The- yeah. Is that the one you're talking about? Just to let oh, us know. Man, Sister Nicole, I was yeah. so all right. So we had just got married. Uh-huh. We were living in Tampa. Okay. And um, you know, he's a pharmacist, so he was at work and mm-hmm. I decided I cook dinner that night. I wanted to surprise him and cook dinner. Mm-hmm. And um he um came home, I was cooking dinner. He came home and he started frying bacon. I'm cooking dinner. He cooked bacon. Okay. So I'm like, what are you doing? Right. I'm just cooking some bacon. I'm cooking dinner and I'm up here. So you got to cook. Oh man. I was, I was, I was, I was hot. I was hot. Was hot. And he was say, I am so sorry. I'm like, no, that's an insult. I'm cooking and you're doing the bacon. And he was like, I am so, so sorry. He was, he was like, I didn't mean no harm. Like, well, a lot of harm was done. Because I'm trying to make dinner for you. (laughs) And he he wouldn't come back. And then so the other time, the other time was I cooked dinner for him. Because I wanted him to argue. Uh I wanted him to be mad. Uh So I purposely, I purposely put too much salt in the rice. Oh. Purposely. Okay. And I wanted to watch him say, I want him to say, why you cook this food without? So he was eating it and uh-huh. drinking water. I said, <laughs> how the food taste? He's like, food tastes good. I appreciate, I appreciate you taking time to cook for me. I'm like, it's rice too salty. He was like, yes, the rice is a little salty, but it's okay. I'm drinking water. And I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. So then what I did the next time was I burnt the food. On purpose. Oh, Judy. Uh-uh. I wanted to hear him argue. I wanted to see what it was going to be like. So I gave him the food and I stood in the kitchen to watch him say, why are you giving this burnt food? I said, how the food taste? He said, I appreciate you taking time cooking for me. You did not have to do it. I'm like, does the food taste burnt? He said, yes, it's a little scorch, but thank you very much. I'm like, man, I'm trying to make you mad. <laughs> And he just, he just he ate it. He did not go for it at all. And wow. that's how it, that's how it has been for 39 years. Okay. He has, he does not complain. He complains about nothing. Wow. Wow. He calls that's- me every day. He And he, he's busy sometimes and he'll text me. I love you. When we first got married, <laughs> I was working in Quincy. If I got to work, he would call. And then the people at work start saying, I think your husband think you fooling around. I said, why? I'm like, because he called every morning before you get here. So I asked him, I said, you think I'm fooling around? He said, no, I just want to make sure you made it to work okay. Wow. Snap. Wow. And he just, I mean, that's what he does. Okay. He come home, he just buys stuff. He does whatever. Before we got married, I said, I don't like to cook. He said, I'm not marrying you to be my cook. I'm marrying you to be my wife. Okay. Well, there you go. Well, that that is quite. Said I ain't never have to cook. He said I ain't never have to cook a day as long as we married. If I don't want to. Okay. My mama said, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, don't do that. Don't do that. You make her cook." He said, "No." 
That's what your mama told him. My mama, my mama said, "You gonna break her? You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna want to live like this all your life. You gonna want some, you gonna want some home cooked meals." And you know what he told her? He said, "I know how to cook." Okay. Well, there you go. Know. All right. Well, you got you a, a diamond in God, the because that is not, to, that ain't normal. It's not, but God, I take it, and I don't, I don't take advantage of it. Okay. I cook. I wash his clothes. Yeah. Um, yeah, when I was traveling all over, when I was traveling, before I would go do a revival, I would cook, and my sister's in all here, I would cook and leave the food already done. All so right. he wouldn't have to try to figure out what, what to eat. All okay. his clothes was washed before I left, just in case he wanted to wear that shirt. Okay. He was too good of a man for me not to build my house right. Nice. I love it. All right. So Jessica said it's neither one of those stories, but she'll take it. The story you told me from when y'all were dating. So listen, in the interest of time, we're going to have to save that for another time. But I want, Jessica, to, I, got out. Oh, God. <laughs> I want to allow you to tell the folks how they could connect with you and let them know what you have coming up. Okay, listen, um, first of all, Nicole, thank you so very much for this opportunity uh, to be on conversation with Nicole. I have really arrived, man. I am oh I am God. somebody now. I, 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 I am somebody. I got to be on. And I told you that. Thank you so very kindly for this opportunity. Um, I am on every Tuesday from 1130 uh, to 1230 on um, Hallelujah 95.3 FM every yeah. Tuesday. Um, with the Real Talk with Judy show, with the yeah. Real Talk with Judy show. Every now and then I do some special editions on Facebook um, uh, with the Real Talk with Judy show. You can come on my web, um, my, uh, my Facebook page, that's Gerald and Judy Mandrell. Uh, that's us on Facebook. My husband said, that's my Facebook page. It was his, but I made a, a comment one time and people kept responding. So I just kept it as mine. And uh, my sister didn't want me to get my own page, but mm. uh, that's his page, but that's our page. Um, also, you can contact me. Go back. Go back one more time. Um, the station is 95.95 mm -hmm, FM. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. 95.3. Got it. I'm just typing mm -hmm. it in. I'm going to put it up on the screen. Okay. Hallelujah. And then you got Real Talk with. Real talk with oh that, that yeah that's the radio station and then you got Jer and Judy Mandrell on Facebook uh, you got Real Talk with Judy on Instagram mm -hmm. uh, Real Talk with Judy on Twitter right. um, you can right. email me Real, Real Talk with Judy at, right. at gmail dot com okay all right uh, so you can always catch me somewhere in the city. Always somewhere in the city. She be everywhere. Thank you, Lonzo. Yeah, she be everywhere. Look, people say I'm everywhere. Judy is everywhere. And she going live wherever she goes. So you definitely can check her out. Always going live. All right. So anything um, special coming up in the next couple of days, weeks, or what have oh, you? Oh, August, August 24th. August, August 24th. That is our next Sister Girl event. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm going to, I'm going to put the fly up. She already got it done. And the only thing I ask people to do is register. Uh, this time I'm asking, I'm going to ask uh, some women to come on and really pour into some women right now. And I'm doing that, Nicole, because I've had several women to, to say, uh, could you just have some of the women who have quote made it just to talk to us about um, um, going ahead, some of their okay. shortcomings, some of their, um, pitfalls and how they kept going. So we're gonna we're gonna do that on August twenty fourth, uh, ladies. I hope to get at least three hundred. We had one hundred and seventy, one hundred and seventy seven, I think, last time. Um, and I'm gonna put that up probably tomorrow so we can start what registering. Time? That's the August the twenty fourth, seven p.m. Twenty fourth or twenty fifth? Huh? Twenty fifth. Oh, whatever that Monday is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The twenty fourth. Okay, 24th. The last month, 7 the 24th, okay. 7 p.m. All right. And that's going to be Zoom. I just want everybody to register. Um, okay. And I'm going to put on there where you can order your sister girl shirts. So we can get okay, these good. sister girl shirts. Uh, everybody yeah. can get that. And I almost got every color. I went to the store today because I don't have a, 
uh, the main color for the sister girl shirt is black and white. Right. Your favorite That's color. Main, my favorite yeah. colors. Yes. And every, everything, uh, I said everything is in black and white. Then I had some psychologists tell me that everything is not black and white. So it don't matter. I like black and white. Okay. Uh, so that's the main. Oh, put that back up, Nicole. Uh huh. Oh, okay. I like that lady. <laughs> Thank you. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> that is me. Thank you. That is beautiful. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, Sister Girl Network event, August 24th, Monday, 7 p.m. via Zoom. Go to the facebook group to register and yeah. um, get involved with the sister girl network yeah. um oh, alonzo wants to know ways to sew into your ministry oh thank you it's cash app dollar sign uh real talk with judy all right let me go. Huh? talk or you could go to my web page yeah. www.realtalkwithjudy.com and do PayPal. All right, let me get that up. Let me make sure I got it right. You tell me. Hold on. Once this thing goes away. All right. Is that it? Mm hmm All And right. I am, I am the month of September, I believe. I believe that no, November. Um, I may start in September, but what I want to do is to do um Three thousand. Thank you, Katrina. That's one of that's one of my spiritual daughter. I love that lady. She's so powerful. That's Rudy Ferguson White, but she got oh, her own. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, but she, she's powerful by herself. My lord. Yeah, I've met her a few times. Yes, powerful woman. Javon out of uh, Atlanta. This is a uh, Sibley Sybil Mobley's granddaughter. Um, I connected with her last oh, year. Yeah, thank you so much for being on, Javon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Um, okay, so September, you said what you got going on? Oh, what I'm what I want to do, I want to go ahead and raise next year. I want to raise, I want to try to raise five thousand dollars by the end of the year, and that'll let me know where I'm going. Because uh, okay. my, I, I want to go on Roku. All right, okay. there's Priscilla. There she is. Yeah, I see Priscilla. Hey, Priscilla. Said you can Isn't go to event. To register you see, they be coming. Yeah, that's good. You need people like that. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's oh, great. oh, Nicole, I would be totally lost. I would be, I would be absolutely nothing without these girls in my life. Priscilla, Carolyn, and that. Oh my God, I will, be, I will be, and my sisters. Oh Lord, I would be nothing. Dr. Marcella, Lashawn, y'all. Awesome. I'll be. I don't know what I'll be. And my husband. My husband keep me grounded. Good, 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 good. All right. Keita said, thank you, ladies. Thank you, Keita, for being on. I appreciate it. All right. So before we get out of here, I definitely have to thank Pastor, Dr., Sister Girl, Judy Mandrell for being my guest tonight on What Women Want Wednesday, talking about sisterhood, trust, and negativity. Hopefully some light was shed in some enlightenment and encouragement. I think the, the quote of the night for me was Ursula saying, I love you and I trust you, but I love you more. I love you and I trust you, but I love you more. I think that was it for me tonight. So I, I, I really appreciated that. <laughs> yes. Um, but I have to invite folks who have not subscribed to the Conversations with Nicole YouTube channel to do so. Um, also, again, Greater Works Network is on Roku. So like Trisetta did, go on there and um, add us to your channel options and uh, check us out. We, we do right now conversations with Nicole is what's up there, but there'll be more to come. So be on the lookout. And um, yeah, we, we appreciate y'all. We appreciate you for being, um, you know, for viewing, for commenting and being engaged in this conversation. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Marcella said, well done, Nicole and Dr. Judy. Keep having conversations. Yes, let's keep these conversations going around sisterhood. Eliminating negativity and trusting, building trust. Let's keep those conversations going. All right. 
All right. We're going to wrap it on up and say good night to the peoples. We'll see y'all next time. Good night.